Hello? Hi. Hey. What's your name? Mary. Mary, where are you calling me from, love? Alabama. Alabama. How old are you? I am 34. 34. Don't have your head cut off. I want to see your full hair. There you go. 34. What's your zodiac sign? Aries. Aries. You have any kids? None. No just, kids. Just a dog. You ever been married? No. What do you do for a living? I am in the sports medicine field. I'm a certified athletic trainer. Okay. Well, sports medicine field. Um, you said you're a certified athletic trainer? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's get into it. So we got Mary, Alabama, 34 Aries, no kids, never married. Sports, she works in the sports medicine field. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? I am looking for a man who is ready to be a husband, not just looking for a wife. Um, someone that is emotionally um, mature, uh, financially stable, um, knows how to manage their money. Um, someone who is uh has a healthy lifestyle um likes to work out likes to be outside i like to be at the beach i like to be outside um so something similar to what i like to do okay a couple things you said you want a man who's ready to be a husband just not looking for a wife so break that break that meaning down for us so there's a difference sometimes um you can be thinking that you're ready to have a wife but you haven't done the work yourself to be ready to be a husband so what's some things that you would feel as though makes a man ready to be a husband? Um, he's done his, the work on himself. Um, it goes back to being, you know, emotionally uh, mature, um, someone who's ready to lead, um, but can also understand that females are more emotional. Um, so taking that into consideration, a lot of guys talk about, you know, wanting a feminine woman, but they also don't understand that, like, they have to bring that to the table, like being able to lead. But you know, we have to hold our own in the work field. Um, so we're used to that when we come home. And so until we have a guy that makes us feel emotionally stable and like we actually have someone that's sticking around, you know, we kind of keep our guard up as females until they show that they're going to be there, you know, okay. and stick around and let us actually show our feminine side. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, no more than three kids. I don't want any kids myself, so he can't want any more, <laughs> um, if any. Um, so two is my limit there. So we, um, you can have kids, but you don't want any kids, period. You don't want to correct. give birth to children. Correct. Okay. Um, someone who has, uh, uh, untasteful tattoos. Like I don't do face tattoos, hand tattoos, legs tattoos, like that. That's a turn off for me. Okay. Um, I think that's someone who doesn't know how to manage their money. Okay. Um, All right, so Mary, I'm I'm assuming you're Caucasian, correct? Uh -uh. Okay. Um, um, now you notice, the, like, you know, predominantly a black audience. Are you into black men, Caucasian yes, men? Black are you into dark black chocolate. men? Yes, okay, so we got, got that clear. So black men are your preference. Would you date men of your race? No. Oh, you won't even date men of your race. No, ma'am. Why not? <laughs> um, I've tried it. It's it's not it. <laughs> so was the same. Really true. Once you go black, you never go back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, they're telling me you've been here before. I have when you were in Mexico. When I was in Mexico. Oh, with Zach. Was that were you were you with no. me? No. You're with Zach. With Zach. Okay. Yeah. So I so, just wanted okay. to get to get to talk to you. Okay. I didn't okay. This is her first conversation with me. The cousin's <laughs> gone, child. One thing, y'all. Cousin's going tell child. So yeah, I guess. You guys are right. She was here before with Zach. It's her first time with me, so I don't remember. Um, okay, we're almost, let's keep going, though. Should, now we got it clear. Black men are your preference. Should he look a certain way? Uh, uh, athletic physique. Um, I like a healthy lifestyle. I like to work out and go to the gym, so I want someone that uh, does the same. Like, he doesn't have to be, like, super ripped, six-pack or anything like that, but, like, definitely putting in the work. Um, okay. A good smile. He needs to be tall. Um, a, like, 5'10". I mean, what, what's tall to you? What height? 5'10". Or taller. Five ten or taller. Okay, two inches away from six feet. Now you mentioned earlier financially stable. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? I don't like that question because cost of living is so different. So like, if you're in the East Coast and you make a decent living, if you're living out on the West Coast, like that salary doesn't compensate. Um, so I'm more concerned about like your credit score. If you actually know like how to manage your money. So for so me, like a credit your, score would be. Okay, like say, I'm sorry to cut you off. Say it again. A seven hundred or higher. 
700 credit score or, or yes, higher. Sir. You know, you can have a 700 credit score and just be good with your credit, but not necessarily make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. That so you don't care about how he, so you don't care about how much money he makes, just have a 700 credit score. I would like him to be able to afford his lifestyle. Well, you can work at McDonald's and afford your lifestyle. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> so, uh, now, now listen, are, I, I'll let it go, but are you trying to avoid saying a salary? Yes. Okay. okay. So you don't want to say a dollar amount. I'm just curious. Yeah. Would you date a man that made less than 100K? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So ultimately, though, what matters to you the most is the credit score, and that is 700 credit score. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Yes, ma'am. What you got on, girl? You got on shorts? Booty shorts? Woo! Daisy Dukes. You the Daisy? <laughs> Who that? Oh, that's the what? Hi! You looking for somebody too, boo? Who is? <laughs> Not the dog that came in, in the middle of the Kendra cam time. <laughs> the dog said, who you, who you posing for? <laughs> I don't know what you thought this was, but okay. The dog done, the dog done interrupted the damn camera. Right? Cam. The dog she wants to be sexy too. <laughs> okay, Mary, when was your last relationship? Uh, we ended Memorial Day. Okay. So, I guess that's end of May. Okay. Um... You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. Oh, was it a black man? I'm just nosy. Yes, ma'am. Why'd y'all break up? Um, I didn't understand his reasonings. He contradicted everything that he said that he wanted um, in a relationship. Um, that ended up being the reasons that he broke up with us, or with me. Oh, my um, gosh. With the dog? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, we're a package deal. <laughs> okay. Um, I think he got cold feet, honestly. Um, I think you found someone that, you know, is ready for something real. And he said he wanted something real. And then once he was in the relationship, I think he got cold feet. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, so that was your last relationship. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Same. Same. Oh, okay. Three flaws you have to work on, Mary. I am an overthinker. So coming with that also includes a little bit of anxiety. So communication is very important in a relationship to me um, and consistency. And then my third one is um, trying not to respond emotionally when I'm upset about something and, you know, taking a second to think about it and respond logically, you know, to help with some arguments. You know, that's something I'm, I continue to work on. Okay. That was three. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Overthinker. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Mary? Um, I have a career. Um, sorry. <laughs> Sell boobs. That's enough. Good girl. Um, I have a career. I can afford uh, my lifestyle. Um, I'm definitely ready to settle down um, with someone. I am looking for a husband. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's hearing someone. That's my guard dog. <laughs> um, I, I love hard when I'm in a relationship. Like, I'm definitely loyal. Um, I, I'm definitely ready and open. Okay. So a couple things, Mary, what's the age range you want to date? You're 34. Uh, 30 to about 45, I would okay. say. Okay. Should he be in Alabama? I would prefer somewhere in the, in the South. Um, Alabama would be fine. Anywhere in the South is okay with me. Okay. Just for clarity. Now I know you said you prefer them for a black man. If there is a Caucasian man who's interested, should he reach out? No, ma'am. What would your mama say about you not wanting to date nobody of your race? <laughs> what would your dad um, say, actually? They're not a big fan, but I think at this point they don't really care because I have never been married and I'm 34. <laughs> Child. Okay, Mary, the time has come. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I am. Okay, what's your name on the app? I just updated my username today. Okay. Um, so it's Mar Mary underscore B as in Bravo. Mary underscore B. Yeah, so okay, I love this Mary. Let's see. Um, Mary, yes, here she is. So this is a great thing. We updated the app where now you can have usernames so I can search you. That's like, oh, you and your dog. Y'all be loving these facts, child. This is a good, you got a photo shoot? You know, I can't hate because I have a photo shoot with my dog. May she rest in peace. Alright, so yes, Mary, she just informed you guys. I've been telling y'all, you can now add usernames 
to the dating app so it makes it easier to find you. Oh, you ran a marathon? I've run two marathons. That picture is actually from a 5K. Okay. All right, Mary. All right, we'll see you, Mary. Okay, Mary. Let's see if you're about to be some black man's dream girl. I hope so. <laughs> All right, so here's her name on the app. You know, Mary underscore B. You can now also search people by usernames. Your username will be unique. So like a name like Mary, obviously there's a lot of Marys. Um, but we added usernames to make it easier to find people. So M-A-R-Y underscore B. So Mary underscore B. She's in Alabama, single, no kids, education, master's degree. About her, I'm a certified athletic trainer that has worked in a variety of settings. I enjoy the outdoors, looking for my future husband, prefer a black gentleman, prefer a Christian, a dog mom. I don't want my own children, but I'm fine if you have your own. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for a black Christian gentleman who is ready to find his future wife, someone who's going to date with the purpose. I'm looking for consistency, effort, and communication. One who's going to stick around even when life gets tough. Someone who has a good work ethic. Deal breakers, cigarette smokers, vaping, non-Christian. If you want more children, that's fine. Um, she's not ready to do that. And if you don't enjoy working out, we won't be a good fit. All right, it's Mary underscore B. Mary underscore B on the Kendra G Singles dating app. Black men only, child. Caucasian men, I try. She said she don't want you. <laughs> she don't want you. So black men only, black men only. All right, Mary Boo, will you keep me posted how it goes, baby? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.